Welcome to the Cop Eye Podcast with your hosts, Mick Moran and Jay Pearson. Hello everybody and welcome back to the Cop Eye Podcast. It's uh, match reaction time. Um, as you can see, I'm wearing a Neto style shirt. For those of you that aren't young enough to realise what the Neto shirt is, this is it. Neto back in the day was a shop that was pretty shit, but to be fair, you got some good bargains out of it. Um, this shirt was registered pretty shit back in the day, but actually, I like it. And the reason why I'm wearing it is because Liverpool have been pretty shit recently. But do you know what? We're still fucking good. We're 22 points clear in the league. We're still in the Champions League. People need to stop moaning. And guess what? Mick's here, as per usual. And we have a very special guest again. Ross is back for the fourth time, which is great. Yeah. Welcome. Well, thank you very much. That's cool. That's a nice new setup. I know. It's alright, isn't it? Better than Nick's bedroom, isn't it? Well, I don't know. Those we don't have. Yeah, that's why we didn't. And we're sponsored by Dream Songs. I didn't get the memo. Clearly. I didn't get the memo, so. Yeah, But thanks for joining us. Cheers, lad. Usually, we'd like to start on a positive. Hopefully, we've just been laughing. But well, we usually start the podcast and like, one of us reels off like five boss stats and then we go, oh, it. fucking hell, we're so good. But yeah. recently it's not been quite the same, has it's it? It's not, no. That, that's, it's, not a, it's not a problem, but it's part of the issue. If we've got some yeah, yeah, way with exactly. all these records that we're breaking. How, how far have we are, the fact that we won all this stuff and like, you know, it was the unbeaten thing and people kind of got obsessed with that. And I think a lot of people have been sidetracked with what the main target is. Yeah, mm. yeah it's great. You want to win the treble, yeah, it's great. You want to break all these records, but... What have we all wanted for thirty years? It's not happened in my in my lifetime. Exactly. Yeah. Like, there was something today. Like I think Virgil van Dijk replied to something. I think I think he's might tweeted it as well. Was like, oh, so we're just going to win the Premier League. Like, yeah. <laughs> oh, that, that's yeah, yeah. Shit, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Think, just the Premier yeah, League. Think, it's like yeah. Jesus Christ. I feel so entitled now. Yeah. Yeah. yeah Twitter is not the place for for a good, a good response, especially when we lose. And again, I think Chris said it the other day. Like as fans, we just become. We become worse because we're not used to losing. So then, God, it's yeah. like, I said the other day, like we're on this massive high, and like I don't want to come down. I know it's not because we only lost you know, <laughs> yeah. hands four games, but yeah. even then, it, it, it's, it still hurts. But I think you know, I'm sure you'll talk about it. But it's the performances as well. Yeah, like it's fine being pissed off that you, you lost or whatever. But it's like you can sell with something from a like, half decent result or just missing out. Oh, we can shot some shit. We have. Yeah, we have. I mean, if we go back to last Saturday, the Watford game, and we could go further with. With Atletico, but let's just look at the Watford game for a start. Watford were brilliant. Like, credit to them, they were fantastic. They, def- they defended well, the keeper was great, the strikers were on fire, they, they just hit us where it hurt, and it just seemed like I- I've seen it coming for the last couple of weeks. I don't know about you two, but I just felt it was going to happen. It's, it's since the winter break, so you mentioned Atletico, West Ham, Norwich, Watford, yeah. Chelsea. We haven't performed in any of those no. games, and probably prior to that as well, we you know, got away with it. And it felt to me like I went to Atletico and I thought they were really good as well. But it feels like it's been worked out at the minute. Yeah. And true. like Atletico kind of set the tone of, okay, we'll just shove loads of people in the box. We'll yeah. let Trent rob up the ball. You, you throw balls into the box and we'll, we're fine with this. We'll just head it out. Yeah. It doesn't, we've been so, we praise Liverpool so much for being, you know, constructive in the way that they build attacks and taking the time and picking the right paths. Whereas now, just like, I don't know if it's complacency or arrogance or whatever, but it just seems like, there's times where you need to penetrate a bit quicker, and of course, you have to go and yeah. do that. Atletico was, was a good example of that of playing balls behind Trent on counter attacks. Well, if you're not playing the right ball, and he's then got to go and get the ball and go, yeah. miss your chance for an attack or exactly. counter attack, and yeah. you want to punish these teams. West Ham, Norwich, Watford, Evan Ops just took that that blueprint and went, guys, we'll do it. Yeah, and we should work hard, you know, and you go for every first ball and second ball, which you know, Chelsea did again, credit to them. Yeah, of course. It's like well, we need something else. So I just pick up what you said there, mate, about being, getting found out. Do you think that's going to continue to happen, or do you think something's going to change now from our point of view? Or is it because there's a lot of talk about the Hendo fact with him, the fact that Henderson's missing? Is that when he comes back, people will go, right, he's back now, we're going to lead leadership? Because I think losing Henderson and Milner at the same time has cost us big time. Uh, yeah, but all the people need to step up the game as well. No, Fabinho got injured. Like everyone went, oh, oh God. Yeah, we all should have yeah, yeah. yeah, But then Hendo <clears> took his role. And then we don't yeah. miss Fabinho, because Hendo was there. Yeah. Yeah. Since Fabinho's come back in, he's not he's not been himself, so I think he needs to step up. And I think I think it might have been possibly the Watford game, where Klopp said before, just before the game, he wanted Milner, in the sense of, it's fine having tendency in, in what he does and, and the press, but it's the time people what they should do, where to be, yeah. being in the referee's face, yeah. and stuff yeah. like that, that goes a long way in a football game. So I think it's, 
being angry, but channeling that aggression into playing decent football and winning the ball back. Yeah. You know, they'll be pissed off as much as we are that they haven't gone on beaten, but like they have a bloody storm on that on the table, so like, don't worry about it. Did you think we were gonna go unbeaten? I did, only because we were playing so well. Mm. But like we said, like it's, I don't think it's a case of teams finding us out, so to speak. I think it's our performance levels drop slightly. So I think there's been like quite a few times, this well, quite often this season, where teams have came to downfield, sat behind the ball, and we've played it around nicely, and the breakthrough, you know the breakthrough's going to come eventually because we've got that quality. I don't know if it's a, in terms of it's a case of the opposition have raised their game slightly and we've dropped... So the trying to get that win's been a bit more difficult, and trying to penetrate's been that more difficult. But I don't know. It's it's I didn't I did expect us to I expected us to go further, but without a loss. Yeah. What what, what the games that were in front of us, I thought right, we, we should we should get get through these because we would every time we're doing a podcast every week we were like, what do you reckon? Yeah, we should we probably win again. Yeah. And it's like <laughs> yeah, I don't know if it's just me being complacent. I've said it before, but I don't know. We were due a blip. I don't know, it's a yeah. cliche. I know it's a cliche, like, but we were due a, a drop in performance that you yeah. can't go that long being absolutely fucking amazing. And this Liverpool team have been. If that blip had happened 10, 12, 14 weeks ago, like the conversation of going unbeaten probably wouldn't have happened. And you yeah, wouldn't have thought nothing of it. Yeah, yeah. Right, because yeah. Yeah. It's gone so long. Then you go, oh, we're going unbeaten. And mm. again, you get sidetracked with what's going on. It's like, yeah. you get, you've you lost get... two games in two seasons. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, get, you get caught up in the hype, don't you? Yeah, yeah, of yeah, of yeah, like, yeah. you're riding that crest of a wave and you're like, well, Fuck now we might, fuck now we might do this yeah. yeah might get him a little and then when trophy yeah and then that dropped oh, down to reality you're like oh, fucking hell so it feels that much more worse even though really and it probably feels worse in the sense of that unbeaten run's gone and you've been knocked out of the club so you're thinking well we're not unbeaten but we can win the treble <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah just a challenge <laughs> yeah yeah that'd be fine yeah just I think, I think you're, you're absolutely spot on mate I think because the media have jumped on this and rival fans are jumping on it so much, it's being made into this bigger thing than it actually is, where as Liverpool yeah. fans, you sit with any of us, we go, what you said at the beginning, that's what we've got, I've won the league, that's mm. what we wanted, that's our, been our bread and butter, we've never had it since it's been the Premier League, yeah. but we're on the verge of doing that now, and we should be just satisfied with that. I, I do find it funny, the fact that rival fans are jumping on it, so as soon as we lost to Watford, like, you know, Arsenal's Twitter was all over it, and all yeah. that. Oh yeah, like, few, and all yeah, that, like, fucking you know, hell. You know, we treble this and all that, and then it was the Man United saying, oh, oh sorry, they're unbeaten, and then United fans were like, oh, you know, we're in the treble. I was like, why can't you just appreciate all three teams? Uh, yeah, and, exactly. and the Man City, you know, point, that, I would yeah. say, Jorin's like, do we all great? Yeah. <laughs> it's fine, it's like, it's that tribalism in football, like, you know, we've got to be better than you, it's like... Yeah. Doesn't take anything away from this Liverpool side and what they've done in the past, what, 18, 24 months. Correct. And even if we went to the end of the season and the end of the table reads, play 38, 136, no one will ever beat that, in my opinion. Yeah. I don't think they will. I mean, there's still loads of records in our grasp like, it, 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 for us to get to get, so. Kind of a little bit, you know. It's, <clears throat> we're on the verge of something really special. Last year was special, but this year is just going to surpass it. I'm still saying if it happens, I don't, I don't, I don't even oh, know. Oh, don't you start. <laughs> Someone else said it today, so I'm not really sure we're going to win the Premier League. <laughs> Jokes. Yeah. <laughs> I'll put the t-shirt on now. Yeah, yeah, yeah get that yeah. off, get that off. <laughs> <laughs> um, but like I said, we go back to the Watford game. A look at it, it's just an off day for me. I mean, we got we got battered. Let's look, look, you know. We did. It was on them, like, after at half time, I watched it with me, and I was like, right, second second half here, yeah, you're going to just fucking put a rocket up them, they'll come out and yeah. we'll get a couple, like usual. If we have a bad half, we'll come out and we'll straight from the off, we'll just start penetrating straight away. I was just like, got to like 50 odd, I was like, what the, what's going on, 55? I was like, what the fuck's going on here, when's it going to happen? Yeah. And then, especially before the game, when I seen Lovren was starting, we're missing Gomez, that's huge. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Lo- Lovren's okay, but missing Joe Gomez at the back there, especially when you factor in we've been, we're already missing Jordan Henderson. Mm. It's double, doubly combined. Um, what we're missing there, both in the middle of the centre of the pitch as well, centre back, centre mid. It's two massive players that we were missing there. So I think a common theme with with West Ham, Norwich, Athletic, Co, Watford, and Chelsea. We've seen if they just play us at our own game, a high mm. pressing game, what they have in town on the ball. Yeah. You know the Watford thing game you talk about. You know, do you think of Kapuwe to Corre? Cathcart, Will Hughes, you know, they're all physically aggressive players. Yeah. And when we're, you know, it's right when you're missing like Jordan Hanson, Joe Gomez, we know Lovren will be targeted by players 
and yeah. you know, Dean came out afterwards and said, I don't think he was disrespectful. I think he's got, he's, he's always felt Just being real, yeah, real. Just being real, yeah. 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 He's yeah. already said, well, I'm not going to be Van Dyke, you know, he smells like, <laughs> like yeah, yeah. what's the point of trying that? And, you know, you've got, to, you've got to exploit the weaknesses in the side. Yeah. And I know loads of people hate Dejan Lovren, but, you know, he was exposed, as were others. I don't think Trent played his game because Dejan Lovren was there. I don't think Trent was great either that game. Yeah, no. Van Dyke in the past couple of weeks, I don't think he's been great, but, you know, you feel bad for criticising him, but he's still—he's still, he's not immune to criticism. No, of course yeah, he's not. not going out game, but his old game is—you yeah. know—a six out of ten. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, he's yeah. not too the bad. Last two years, yeah. like seven yeah. out of ten. I mean, he's set as bad to hide any yeah. slight dev- deviation. You're like, well, what's going on here? What's he, do- what's going- what's he well, doing? I, th- I think other teams get a bit of solace from like all the results of West Ham and Norwich. Are, you know, was pretty close. What for? Look at that and go. Well, we're running a chance. Mm. You know, yeah. Chelsea, we can do that. Yeah. Whereas before. We, I think we, we used to be like Man City where before a ball was kicked everyone was like well, what's the point exactly. yeah, yeah. Beat it. Yeah. So goes, well, these, these are beatable we, we can do it yeah. Yeah. and the teams like Watford that are you know, scrapping for you know relegation battle well, we're going to give everything to it and Norwich the same West Ham the same it's going to be a tough run of them he's going to be playing sailing as, as we all thought of course so I'll ask you both the question then you probably just answered it to be fair both years after the game had finished was you as deflated as what you thought you'd be when you knew we were going to lose the game and you think right we definitely can't win because full time whistle's gone unbeaten season is out the window was it a massive deal to you? I think it was because I I think I got caught up in the wave I got caught up in the right well we're going to go unbeaten here so it was a bit, a bit of a drop to reality when I thought well we've, we've definitely lost now but when you sit down after a couple of hours and you think you reflect you're like well we're still 22 points clear and we can still win the league within four games, four or five games, whatever it is now. And you can still be the highest points tally. And there's still those records we can break and this Liverpool team is still the best I've ever seen in my lifetime. Yeah. It's just like, well, you've got to have, you've got to have some perspective. Of course. That, that Norwich game, man, we watched it in the studio and for the first time in ages, you, you think back to the first couple of games of the season, how stressful mm. you were, you're thinking, we have to win every game, we have to yeah, do this, we have to get a yeah. that. I watched Norwich game and I was just dead chilled out and Chris is like, you think of this and I was like, don't care. <laughs> just yeah, yeah. The league, oh, I, I know it's I know it's arrogance and I know it's a bit, a bit cocky, but I was like, I was laughing my head off. Yeah, we, we were saying. poor and I was like, doesn't matter, good in the league. <laughs> that, that, that's what I wanted. And I think now I think, you know, the place it creeps in, I think you do have that slight doubt in your mind of going, Oh, well, actually maybe maybe it's not as yeah. smooth as you're thinking. Only Liverpool, you know, with the coronavirus and World War Three, and there's an asteroid. I've seen that. Yeah, asteroid. Yeah. Like, it would be, be the biggest capitulation in sports in history if you weren't to go and win this now. Yeah, yeah. Because I, I think it's right. You, you know, you ride the crest of that wave, even the necessity for getting it done as soon as possible. That's what we want. But like, yeah. it's the worst thing in the world is there's only four games to go. We just won the league. Like, Absolutely. <laughs> Take on the last day if it's that. But what it used oh, to be. Hell, no, I can't see that. <laughs> <laughs> Well, if, it, if they guaranteed you, Ross, you would. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, But then we, we move on and we, we look at, think, right, OK, so FA Cup is next. And we look at that and you go, right, chance of a, a, a treble's on. Klopp is into the fifth round for the first time in his Liverpool career. You think, right, I was expecting a really, really strong lineup. I For me, I, I, I tweeted the same guys who played against Watford should play again, just to answer some critics, go, right, OK, lads, here's another chance. Smash these Get out of your system. Correct, yeah. 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 And then if you're going to make changes, make changes for Bournemouth in preparation for Atletico. Was you thinking the same? Or was you thinking that he's going to make some changes? I wasn't sure what he was going to do. I think, yeah. you know, caught in a thing. But if you get in the fifth round, like you said, he's the furthest he got. I was pleasantly surprised when I saw the team news, but on reflection, it's like, well, if you're going to go that strong, why not just play the team that played Watford? Yeah. You know, it's, I think, I feel sorry for Minamino. Yeah, David Carigi at times getting chucked in, and his likes of Curtis Jones that played neck balloons I thought was all right in the first half. Yeah, but then you know he's got a manager squad. It's rotation. That's I think it. we had the winter break. What the winter break is for? Not the first month after the winter break. It's for the last two to make sure that you can go. Yeah. The, you can go the distance. And the game's got caught up with like we've had a break. We should be fit and fine. It's like these lads have played fucking a lot of football. In, in, in the African continent. continent. So you said yeah. the changes. You just mentioned we got ball with coming up. We got Atletico coming up, which are arguably bigger games. Mm. So and Chelsea went strong as well. I thought Chelsea were, were, were phenomenal. So and Frank's going to look at that and he's going to go. Do you know what? This is a good chance for us to get a, to get a trophy. Considering the the up down start Chelsea had to the season, they missed missed out the Super Cup. Obviously they're up in and out of a fourth place, and um, they're still round about there. Obviously you, you can get fifth place now, pending the tribunal. Um, <laughs> don't get Ben Kelly started on that. <laughs> <laughs> 
Um, so that, I thought, yeah, it, it, Chelsea were going to be a different Chelsea side than the one that we saw in the league because this is a chance for them to get a trophy. And credit to them, they were brilliant. It was a great first 15 minutes, I thought. It was quite end-to-end. Um, yeah, obviously, there's some great saves from Adrian at the beginning and then it was definitely funny because, I mean, <coughs> you were there, obviously, and we saw it on the TV. And he makes that great save and then the camera cuts to a replay and you think, oh, he's going to say, oh, no, we're not going to see it. Then. Yeah, yeah. A shot brilliant scores, yeah. Think, what just happened there? So obviously it was you in the. I was just I was just behind to the left of that goal. And I was yeah. like, oh my god, he just made an incredible save there. Another shot, and I was like, I think we managed to watch it back at half time. I was like, what are you doing? Yeah. And I was like, mm-hmm. he's been amazing for us so far. And I don't know whether he's just like trying to hit it down so he can catch it again. But like, surely a basic. I'm not a goalkeeper or an athlete for that matter. Like just <laughs> get it left and get it as far away yeah. from your goal as Cross, possible. Yeah. And you just think, ah, oh, you're behind, and then confidence drops, and it comes back to that thing of rotating. I think it might have been Paul Senior from Anfield Rapper go, why do you rotate your best goalkeeper in such a big important game? Yeah. But again, you know, Adrian needs game time to, really, really to keep does. him happy. He's, done yeah. Yeah. Him. He's been phenomenal for us, but then same for Lovren at Watford, does that creep into the doubt of the, uh, the centre backs and the left mm. back and right back of going, oh, goalkeeper's made a mistake there, yeah. as it does with Origi. And they're not as relaxed going yeah. forward. You lose your rhythm, you lose your keys yeah. and confidence and stuff like that. So That was the game changing moment for me. And then on 20 minutes, we have. Three shots within ten seconds against Kepper, and he saves all three of them straight away. You've given enough football match to go. Oh, it's not going to be our day today. Yeah. But there was some decent performance. I thought Williams was targeted, but he did quite well. He did. He did do well. To be fair, he was getting stuck in. He wasn't shying away from challenges. Threw a couple of decent balls into the box, but like he didn't. It didn't get much service. Like there was, he done the best as what he what he was given. Really, like. Yeah. They were, like we talked about the Chelsea were tremendous. They were, yeah. they, they were, they were great. I think he was, he was up against as well. He was up against Pedro and all. Yeah. I mean, he's a kid. Yeah, yeah. Mo- the Mount team's yeah. seen Pedro like le- literally left back at yeah. their corner flag, like chasing them down. It's like fucking hell. That was the best so, no no messing here. Yeah. Play yeah. since the twenty eleven Champions League final. <laughs> 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 well, like it, it, it's all right looking at result and being dead annoyed with it, but I think what Nick Williams just learned from that game. Loads. Well, yeah, absolutely, and that's invaluable. Considering yeah. how good he was against Everton and Leeds yeah. and Shrewsbury and stuff like that, oh, yeah. it's like it's fine saying how he's got against them, but to go up against you know two Premier League winners, world class, experienced internationally mm. and domestically players as yeah. a kid, like, <clears throat> yeah, alert him, probably learn from it. Correct. Yeah, and that uh, credit to all, like you said, I think Mane was was decent in spells as well. It wasn't the Mane that we that was known all season, but again. These players are suffering from the tired, they, they can't be 100% every single game. And in the grand scheme of things, you'd swap uh, going out to the FA Cup to beat an Atletico next weekend, anyway, wouldn't you, in the grand scheme of things? Yeah. One of them. Um, and again, hindsight's a wonderful thing, absolutely. Um, but on the whole, I did think even when we went 1 0 down, we, we could get back into the game, but it just, I never thought we were. In normal league games, I think I was thinking, oh, we'll, we'll always create a chance. Yeah. I just couldn't really see us creating a chance. The feeling wasn't there anymore. It, it, the problem is, like, Manny was good, but he was out on the right hand side. Yeah. And he's, got, just, he, and he's, got, he's got Williams behind him. He's not used to that. He's used to be on the other side. Rob doesn't play his game because he's got a in front of him. Yeah. I can't gamble going forward because he doesn't know what Origi can do. Minimino yeah. was in the middle, and Curtis Jones, Adam like Milana. It's just not the same team. He always knows Rob. Yeah. Right behind him, doesn't yeah, he? And off a lane off. I don't yeah. have to look. That's yeah. mean, this team's so systematic now that any slight. Changing that, I mean, like we, Klopp's got to use his squad, like like we say, but they're not used to that, so they've they've they kind of learn not kind of in game what what yeah. what 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 to do and where to where to run, where to pass it. And you could there's times when throughout the season when Robbo has been let, obviously left back and Arigi's been left. When you see Robbo fucking screaming at him, going like make that run, like because he's expecting Mane to make that run, and if Arigi's not doing it, which obviously is not the fucking same type of player. Yeah. He's more of a striker, isn't he? Yeah, he's not, yeah. Frustrated. He's fucking shit out of me. He's so predictable. Like, he's got his back to goal. He takes two, three, four, five touches. Yeah. yeah. And like, by that time, the way Chelsea was playing, he had three players around him. Yeah. He yeah. loses the ball. It's like, again, he's not a winger, but like, he's played there not to learn to, to do better. Mm. For me. Yeah, he does them fake shots where he cuts in and he'll take it onto his left and he'll cut back in. And like you say, at that point, You've wasted ten seconds. The opposition, the opposition are back. Then you, you, your chance is gone. And and there was a chance against Atletico going that far back where he's played through, kind of one on one, um, and our black ones out out of him. If he chips that over him, but because his head's down, he wasn't aware of the situation. Because he, he, if it was Mane, you'd go Mane would probably try that. Yeah. Might not score it because it was a difficult chance anyway. But Arigi just he's got he, his head down and he doesn't doesn't realise the space he's in and the chance he had to score. Never cut his uh, 
<laughs> Bring the triplet. Bring the triplet. Again, he's another player who's got to get game time somewhere. Exactly. And he's got to show yeah. that he can can do it. I think he's better as a, as coming as a sub. I don't think he's a, star, a starter. I think he's more of an impact player with his pace. Yeah. Uh, a little bit of trickery that he has got in his locker. I think he's better as a as an impact sub. But mm. again. We had to bring on Salah and Firmino, didn't we? And again, they, were, they, they struggled uh, a little bit. There was one glimpse from Mane where he had, where I thought, there he is, he's, he's back in the game and he had his back to goal. Turns two or three plays, comes on. Oh, the shot, yeah. Kevin makes a great save. But that's the difference. You can say it was the last 10 minutes, Mane was out on the other side and he had Robert with him. Mm. Yeah. Like, it looked dangerous. And yeah. like, but okay, by then it was a bit too late. But then, like Mick said, straight away you can see the synergy that they've got between exactly. each other and, and the, and the yeah. flow of the game. Um, I, I was going to ask anyway about Robbo. What what have you made of, of him recently? Because I've seen a couple. I know Twitter's like a dark fucking hole, but <laughs> people a lot of a couple of people I've seen saying, "Where's this rampage and Robbo that we're so used to?" Do you, th- do you think he's not been quite the same? I don't think the whole team's been the same. To be perfectly honest, yeah. and I think it goes back to you know the, the top of the, the show we were saying before about people sitting in two banks of five. Like, you know, do so yeah, yeah. he's got to watch what's going on yeah. behind him. And you think you know yeah. sometimes when it's a bit more open, a bit more free flowing. You know, he can make those ones, he can get in behind, or yeah. he can do a give and go with Mane, or you know, even if it's just a dummy one, he can, he can do that. But because like a team's been playing so narrow and playing just pound people into the box, yeah. he's got loads of space. Trent and Robert had loads of the ball, but like I'm just throwing crosses into the box. We do so much, like he's not renowned for, for his shooting or anything like that. Mm. But sometimes he gets to the point where like it's nil nil, it's a 60, 70, 80 minute. Well, let's pump it into the box and, and see what happens. And yeah. it's frustrating to watch because you know, we're not used to it. I don't think Robert's done anything wrong. No. I think the whole team's just a combination of not performed and been, we've been outplayed. Yeah, absolutely. It's like you said at the beginning, people sort of finding it out a little bit yeah. and picking up weaknesses, adding to that variable of we're coming to off a massive run of fixtures where we're just one, 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 gone to play in guitar, still come back and still manage yeah. to bang out a lot of wins and consistency and stuff. And like you said at the beginning, it was always going to happen. We were always going to have this yeah. little dip. I mean, we usually <coughs> have a dip every January anyway. It's a little bit delayed this yeah. year. Nice one. Appreciate that. But I'm not going to cry about it as, as what a lot of Liverpool fans are crying about because there's no need to cry about it. Yeah. Treble has gone. Yeah, fat, sound, whatever. But we're still in the Champions League. We're probably going to win the league. 100% definitely going to happen. Oh, Christ, imagine we get knocked out by Atletico. <laughs> oh, like, I know. Just, oh, just stay off Twitter. I'm, I'm, I'm fucking off to a cave if we get beaten out. I'm off fucking going on Twitter for no, weeks. Yeah, exactly. Until we win the Until, yeah, until May. Yeah. Not going back on. Yeah. yeah. Well, I've I'm, I'm not. I've said to you the other week that I've not been on Facebook for two years. I might just come back on just the day we win the league. Yeah. Just, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's happening. And then just yeah, deactivate again. Yeah. <laughs> um, one last thing on the Chelsea, Chelsea game. Uh, Minamino. There was parts of the game I liked from him, but again, I, f- I felt a bit, <clears> not upset for him, it's just like, it, 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 it's a bit part-time at the minute, isn't it? You know, he, he's, he's struggling to, to find his feet in the side, maybe it's the league, but he's not getting enough opportunities for me at the minute, because we were fighting on quite a few fronts. I do think those times are going to be a bit more limited now, unless we are 3 or 4 nil up Definitely will 60 be. minutes and he comes on then. Yeah. It's hard for him, because he's got a learning system, we've seen, you know, Chamberlain, Robbo, yeah, Fabinho, you know, to five or six months he's coming. I think he's probably just we bought him to set him up for next season. Yeah, exactly. And the games he has played, I think mean, he, he played Shrewsbury, um, mm. he played that with, with a bunch of kids, he played another game with just fringe players and kids. You know, again the Chelsea game was, you know, he's got a Rigi to the left of him, he's got yeah. a Lalan and Curtis Jones behind him, which I'm, I'm not slating at all. But he's not gonna play regularly with them, is he? But no, exactly, yeah. So what's he gonna be like when he's got Manny Salah for me behind him? He's learning yeah. he's, he's learning things off the field as well, you know, a new country, new language, yeah. new new culture, yeah. new new surrounds. Like, you know, we, we all went to, you know, Japan for, you know, to go and live and work there, like you know, you've got to adapt to your oh, surroundings. Sure. Exactly, yeah. So people don't take that to account, just think, oh football, or right, you can kick a ball. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's not as easy as that. But no, it's not, no. I mean, and and again, you know, Chelsea were really good, Chelsea were aggressive. I think you know, maybe the Austrian league's not like that, where it's aggressive and physical mm. and stuff like that, and he just he needs to adapt. Of course, right? And there was a moment where he w- he was in the Chelsea box and I think it was Zoom, I think it might have been Zoom or Rudiger, I'm not mm. sure. Uh but he turned them and he you could see him pulling on his shirt and he, you could see he's got that like core strength, he, like he yeah, wasn't he wasn't brushed off the ball, and I was like, yeah, fair enough. Like he's he's clearly got the he's well, he's obviously got the ability because we've seen it in the two games that we played against yeah. against uh, Salzburg, yeah. but uh, now he's got that quality. And like like Ross said, like I think he's probably had more minutes than even he expected because we're fighting on so many fronts. 
We've got to we've got to rotate so he's getting more minutes. Whereas usually, like the like like you said, Fabinho's, Chamberlain's, Robertson's, they were on the periphery for a, for a longer period up until a point where they were like Klopp was like, right, you're ready now. Yeah, go, go and have a run on the team. I like him. He's a different type of player. That we've, you know, I know Lallana's have they've been compared to the same, and he's a Lallana replacement or whatever. But I think he's got so much more to his game than definitely has. Yeah, we've not seen him before, and for that type of player from that type of culture as well, I think it's great for for the club as well. I mean, Nak- Nakamura was brilliant for Celtic, wasn't he? And um, I can't remember the, the the player who played for Japan. Was it? It began with an N. Well, I'll find out. I'll find out before the end of the show. <laughs> uh, Nakata, that was it. Done. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Um, he, he was brilliant. I like the fact that we're getting those types of players in the squad now. And Ross is right, he's a player for next season, but he's going to pick up a medal with it. And, and he needs to find his position as well. Like, he might be a victim of his own versatility as well. Mm-hmm. You yeah. can play false nine, both wings. It's like, well, wh- where do you want to, where's your best position? Where do you want to play? Like, I know we've, I think he played predominantly mostly for a, a right wing for Salzburg. But we know we can play them. We can play either side on either side of the three in midfield, both wings up front. So he needs to find his position in this system. And like we said, like because this team's so systematic, he needs to find his role in that. And that's only going that's going to take time in the day. So get the league done in the same, you know, five or six games to go. I think he can start trials and stuff. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Right, yeah. Well, how many games have you played? I want to play four. Right, go on, get them and get your medal. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure there'll be more. Uh, more number 18 shirts sold next year. And we'll do number 18 on squad number, sure, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so obviously now we look look ahead to Bournemouth. Um, 12.30 kick-off, dinner time. Thoughts? Are we, are we a bit more nervous? Or are we just, do you know what, back in the league, said Anfield? I expect nothing less than a 4 0 win. And, and you know what, mate? <laughs> said the same thing myself. So and, and that does not criticism to Bournemouth. Like, oh, I was, we've all said I want a reaction to the yeah, past yeah. three, four weeks of what's going on. You've got right. Anfield, you've got the crowd behind you. Go and put it right. Yeah. And go and show the league what you made up. Just not shut up our, some of our fans, but even the rival fans are going on to. We're taking this seriously. Seriously, we know we've made mistakes. True. I'm just gone dicking, basically. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm better no, no, Listen, no. Yeah. Don't travel well, though, Bournemouth. They're, they're, just, they're really shit on the road. If they're going to stay up and going to survive, they're going to have to do it at home. So this is a perfect opportunity for us to just do what Ross said. Harry was a couple of years. It's a really good thing at the minute. <laughs> um, but Mick, I mean, I, I'm expecting arguably the strongest squad we've got on. Yeah, on Saturday. definitely. And I th- now Eddie Howe, I don't know if he'll abandon his philosophy. I don't think he's ever came to Anfield and put 10 men behind the ball. Like, Obviously, defensively, but they're not going to come in like two, like a let's go two banks, two banks of four, and then both strikers back. They're not, they're not going to do that as rigorously as other teams would. Mm. They're going to come and try and play as well because they, like you said, we, they need points as well. Yeah. They, they need to fucking grab a goal at some point. So, uh, no, we, we, we need to go there and, like Ross said, make a statement and just fucking batter them four or five now and go right, Liverpool back on track now. Let's crack on. Let's go to let's go a couple of days after. Mm. Let's just get the run and form going again and crack on. The crowd will be bang up for yeah. because of what, what's happening as well. Yeah, and definitely. I think that, that we said before, like went to Madrid, like the crowd can affect the team. We've seen Anfield before. Yeah. Like everyone so everyone who goes to Anfield still wants the Premier League. Of course. And, and they've yeah. wanted it for years, so why yeah. wouldn't they go and make loads of noise at the weekend and so they should. Absolutely, and this is it. You, you chalk another game off and then we start calculating right when can we win it? Obviously right now, keep winning, it's, it's gonna be at the Etihad. Depending on the results, and it's just yeah, another three points. We've knocked that off now. Who's next? You know, and, and yeah. <clears> we're prepared to, to Tuesday, but yeah, it's all about, I think what Ross said it perfectly, it's the reaction to the last couple yeah, of Yeah, but needs, so, to, needs to be instant, really. People are going on about, oh, you've lost three of your last four. Well, how about we've only lost three of our last like, 80 odd games? Yeah. Was, yeah, yeah. I know it's, it, 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 no, no, no. People have got to look into perspectives, haven't yeah, they? Yeah, yeah. But again, that's the, that's the medium rather fan, just like trying to. Nitpick. That's yeah. all I've got. Well, you've lost three of your last four, okay? And like you awesome. said, just go a bit wider than that, shall we? What happened? Yeah, yeah. Oh, you're the genders. You're the genders. Fuck now, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's true. And um, again, it's 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 going to be one of those games where we play against Bournemouth and Anfield. I'm expecting no less than a, than a clean sheet and a few goals. I think Bobby needs to get himself a goal. I think the entire front feet need to get themselves a goal. He hasn't scored at Anfield for a while, so he fucking needs one. He definitely does. I think he scored a couple of weeks ago and I got this loud. I was like, fucking hell. <laughs> yeah, he did, yeah. Fuck's sake. He scores the away goals, though. So yeah. Sorry. Yeah, exactly. He, he was doing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. T- team news. Um, what do you, who do you think starts? I, like I think it's Ka- 
yeah, Keita. Milner, Milner and Keita back in training today. Yeah. yeah, I would like to see James Milner play a, a part of the game. Whether he comes on after sixty minutes or he starts and he comes off after sixty, I would like to see James Milner back on that side just for because he's after Hendon, I'm sure he's our longest serving player. You know, and he's vice captain and having both your captain and your vice captain out is important. Yes, we've got a leader in Van Dijk, of course we have, but to burn that that man shouldn't have at the minute because he's not the club captain. We put Milner back on, there's more of a, more of a voice because he will shout more. Hmm. He will, and that's exactly yeah. what he does. There's a bit of grit there. There's old English grit like him and Hendo have. I'd just love to see James Milner back in there for a little bit. So we want you go Fabinho, Milner, Gini. Yeah. yeah, that's what I go with. I don't, yeah. I'm happy with that. I think Hendo plays Tuesday as well. Yes. So then Milner gets gets his rest, and I think he's Crystal. Oh, it's Everton after that, isn't yeah. it? And Crystal Palace, yeah. Well, Hendo, right. Hendo, Hendo back for let's go. I know it was three, yeah. said three weeks, and I knew that was like. Three weeks to the day that let's go. So Seven hopefully, three, yeah, but I think it's but he's back in training money. Mm. Playing with the ball. Yeah. Oh, he's sounds. He's been through injury before. I think yeah. Like Sweet. No disrespect to the Ox. He's. I love the fact that he's he's back flowing now, and when he does play, it gives us that extra impetus going forward and stuff. But I just think having the when Alden for being on Milner, midfield and Anfield on Saturday, will really really help us. Yeah. And then swapping for out for Hendo on Tuesday. Fabinho is an interesting one because I think he's been pretty poor the last couple of weeks. Absolutely, yeah. If he drops him, just yeah. confidence no good, but then he needs to play to get his confidence back. Yeah, so. it's a uh, chicken and egg catch twenty two yeah. situation, yeah. isn't it? It's a, it's a shit one, but again, the best way to just get over it is just do it again. And it's like what you told from as a kid: you fall off your bike, don't get scared, just get back on it and, and, and crack on. Mm. Um, so we we'll look at that then. And while Ross is here, let's talk about Madrid. I'm shit myself a little bit, but I think I am more excited for this crowd than I have been in a long time. Yes, I was excited to go to the Barcelona game last year, obviously, because it's Liverpool Barcelona Champions League semi final. But the mood was subdued going into it because it was hopeful, uh, wasn't it? it, it was it's like, hopeful, not expectant. Yeah. Absolutely. Whereas yeah. these are the types of ties that I relish in a second at Anfield. We're one 0 down, the crowd's gonna be up for it from the kickoff. Yeah. Atletico, I'm not gonna what fucking hit them. I'm so excited, but I'm I'm nervous, excited. That's what I mean. Yeah, I, I think you, you just nailed it there. Where there was, you know, Barcelona wasn't ex- expecting, but I think this sort of is yeah. because of the Barcelona game. Yeah, yeah. And, and as soon as we lost, I was like, well, we've, we've come back from bigger defeats against better teams. Mm. Really good at defensively. Yeah, and like, d- d- we've all watched teams, I mean, the only teams from the past, what, eight years mm. that, that he's been there. Yeah. They're really good. They're well, really well organised. You know, I don't think it's going to be easy at all. No. Uh, no. Apart from me thinks he might go into extra time. Or, or like, yeah. I think that's it. Well, obviously, every possibility we might not do it because of how good they are and, yeah. and, the, and the way that we played the past couple of weeks. Yeah. Mm. It wouldn't be a shock. No. I mean, it'd be, be gutted, but it, like, yeah. you wouldn't be surprised. But, no. And again, the Bournemouth, Bournemouth game, for that reason, I was saying go 4 5 nil. go with your confidence up and go into that Atletico game, knowing like you'd come off the back of a massive yeah. win. Yeah. Okay, there's a, a massive quality difference between you know Atletico and, and Bournemouth. But you use that and we'll go, go to the next stage. Definitely, right. Are you, are you feeling? Um, <clears throat> <laughs> he wasn't. <right. laughs> I wasn't. Right. Ross has just <laughs> sent me, sent me packing there. No, uh, like I said, one nil. We've came back from bigger, bigger deficits than that, and the whole that. I know I don't want to use the shit cliche, but the the twelfth man. But it, but it is yeah. like, and it's literally magic. Like, it's you can't explain it. Like the nights at Anfield when when the crowd are up for it, it's like the, the ball gets. Sucked into the goal, and it's it's not even like a lie. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, again, that's one of the fucking best atmospheres I've ever been to because every time, what you said, oh yeah, yeah, you'd be one of them on the ball, you putting them off mm. and stuff, and if it does not only affect the, the players, but it's the referee as well. Yeah. Like, I'm saying with Chelsea the other day. Yeah. It's not the reason we lost the game. The referee was shocking, but like when oh, you got yeah. the whole crowd of like yeah. booing, cheering, you got five players yeah. surrounding the referee at the same time, players in front, and that's another reason why I'm missing John Nenson. Like I love him to bits. I always love him is because he tells him every to fuck off every five minutes and he's wagging his face. Yeah. But, yeah. but psychologically, of course, yeah. plays, plays into the round. We don't yeah. have anyone who does that. Oh, I, 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 spot that. I didn't see that once against, the, against Chelsea. Yeah. No. But Chelsea no. players are doing it. Yeah. Trying to get other people sent off and, yeah, yeah. and going down. And even like William went down a couple of times. There was nothing wrong with him. Yeah. He's like, Liverpool got up for only five minutes of you know, getting some good possession here. So I'll just go down. Yeah, and then Rudiger, Rudiger goes down with cramp. Like seventy fifth oh, minute, like yeah. fucking hell, mate! You've been playing footy all season. You, yeah. you sound get up. All your fucking life. <laughs> yeah, on that as well, like. Yeah. <laughs> nah. But yeah, I think we look at that game now. Is I think a lot of people are like can we fast forward to that game now. I mean, I I certainly am because I can't wait to get in there and just scream your head off. Because like you said, we've we've come back from 
bigger defeats with Barcelona. We've also gone to other places and been in a 1-0 de deficit since the Champions League began. And we've, we've still come out firing and we're two or three up and like, ah, it's 20 minutes gone and we're, we've, we've done this time now. Yeah. Filled it, but it's going to be a tough game. Really tough game. I think like Ross said, it's not going to, we're not, it's not going to be easy. And it's not going to, if we did go out, I wouldn't be like, oh, fucking hell, I didn't expect that. Because they, they've proven that first leg, they are fucking really good defensively. Like, just, you, can, you can't get through. When you, if, yeah, yeah. if you do, then they've got fun out black and gold. He's yeah, fucking yeah, one of the yeah, best yeah. in the world. But uh, no, we, if we get a goal, in the, I'd usually say at Anfield in the second leg of a Champions League game in the first 10 minutes. But against these, if we get one in the first half, yeah. we're in with a really good chance. Mm. Really good chance. And it, that, it, it's awesome, because like, you look at their... I think we're guilty of doing this as little fans where you look at the league table there and you go, oh, they're only fourth, they're only fifth. <laughs> yeah. Like, it's yeah. been yeah. due to Espanyol at the weekend. Like, yeah, it's a piece yeah. out on this. And you're thinking, again, like Mick said, it's, it's not that easy. You know, they're tough to break down. They're so disciplined and, and well organised in what they do. Liverpool have to come up with something different this time mm. to counter. I think a lot referenced it, but he was talking about the Man City in the Carabao Cup. Yeah. And they were up against Aston Villa, two backs of four and, and, and two attackers back as well. It's someone coming coming short and then like Foden running behind and it's going to the ball. Like Liverpool need to do stuff like that. Absolutely. But if we don't, it's just like pass there, pass back, back to that side again. And we'll wait for someone to come out of position. But I said that find out might be a bit strong, but people got wise to what we're doing. Of course. Yeah. So with that said, then because when we watched the Madrid game, um, after they scored that goal, it sort of was like right, shut up, shot now. We closed early, it's a Sunday morning, we closed yeah. early for an hour, it's done. Yeah. The goal was a fucking fluke as well. It was, yeah, yeah. that's yeah. what I'm saying. That's what I, we didn't see them attack as what we thought would. They've gone, right, we've got one against these now, we didn't expect that. We shut up shot, and that was at home. I don't see them attacking us as much as what people are saying. I think it's going to be all us. Oh, we're yeah. after up front as well, to be fair, so it's not going to happen. Yeah. <laughs> and if anything happens, it's not my fault. <laughs> 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 No, it's from the get go. It's going to be clearly us just that, the ball knocking it around. But like you said, we're going to need a bit of bit of creativity in in, in that last third just to, to to get through. It's like a fucking it's like a brick wall, isn't it? Yeah. But you need that bit of just hope. Klopp will fucking put a rocket up them. Mane, Salah, Firmino, them three. If, if they turn it on, go on, lads, go and win a Champions League. For the, for the, back to back. They've got the go and do something. It's interesting with um, with Mane as well. He was. Fuming at the Chelsea game, he walked straight off the pitch. He did, yeah. I was thinking like he's gonna be fired up for you know what was we yeah. seen earlier the season. I think you know Burnley, Southampton, he was, he was driving us to to wins. Yeah, and I, I expect that from him as well. Yeah, I, I, to be fair, the rest of the players. Well, it, that's uh, have you seen the script? Yeah, because that's not yeah, even yeah. an extra question. <laughs> <laughs> um, you said he didn't write one. <laughs> <laughs> Lying bastard. <laughs> <laughs> um, Where the fuck are you reading that from? <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, like, what the fuck? Um, it's a toss up between Mane and Henderson for player of the year. That's what people are saying. You look at the bookies, they're the two favourites, and every week it drops and changes. I'm just going to put you both on the spot now. Who are you picking? Gareth Henderson has swayed my vote. Go on, how? Because I don't know if you saw his tweet, you said you notice. I think he said Jordan Henderson's probably swung it in the sense of he's missing. Oh, I did see that. Yeah, yeah totally. Yeah. No, no, he's, it's a good point, though, isn't it? notice him when he's not there. You, you said it in the show already today. Like, we're missing him. Yeah. So that's not criticism of anyone else who is in the football team, but like all the stuff we said of, you know, his press and his determination, the fact that, you know, he's in the press, he, he's really good, but also the stuff of being in people's faces, of, of the players, the opposition players, the, the referee. It adds to, to what we've been doing for. I, I'm glad he's got the recognition because, like I say, I've always been a, a Hendo lover. But you know, 13, 14 season, I reckon we didn't win it because he got suspended. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm yeah. almost doing that. Definitely, game. yeah. And it's, yeah. It's, it's it's coming to fruition again. If we've been poor, because well, Fabinho's not played well either. Mm. You think he should step in and do what Hendo was doing while he was out? But it's just more under the position, isn't it? I think. Of course, yeah. yeah. You go with Hendo. Or? I'll go with Hendo. Yeah. Um, the only thing that annoys me with like pundits though, when they describe Jordan Anderson, they're like, "Oh yeah, he, 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 he's <laughs> fucking hell, pundit." It's the goss from Ross. No, no. What annoys me like when you listen to like Jenna or someone, it's like, "Oh yeah, he's uh, he's a good leader." Uh, so what? He, when you said listen to Jen, I thought you said listen to Genesis. 
That's exactly what I thought. Oh, fucking bit of, bit of Philly Collins, yeah, man. Yeah, no, no, I love a bit of that, like, but... <laughs> yeah, him, him. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> fucking hell, lad. No, it's, it's like basic view of Henderson when he, he's clearly just watched, he's not watched them properly. Mm. He's actually a really fucking good footballer as well. Yeah, yeah. You go, oh yeah, he's a good leader, he gets in the ref's faces, he does this, he does that. No, but like, <laughs> but like he's a he's a boss footy yeah, player yeah, as well. Yeah, like yeah, he he, dra- he drives his team forward and like because he's came after Steven Gerrard, we've always compared him to that, and that's been his downfall. Yeah, been to there, be fair, but the last couple of years he's done that, and he, he and like you said, they're getting in the, the rest faces and driving us forward. But assist, he's getting he's been getting more goals lately. He's getting in like especially when Fabinho was playing well. He's he's not not been as great recently, but when Fabinho was in there, he's on the side of the three. And he's marauding up down the right wing. They look at the the, the assist for uh, Mane against Man City. Yeah, it's like fucking hell. That's like if Gerard would have done that, you'd be like fucking hell. Typical yeah, Stevie, exactly. typical Stevie. G because Henderson is like wow. If mm. you think of it, he's like I said before about his, his press. I mean, you think of his positional awareness of where he's supposed to be. He cuts out so many passes and stuff because he's yeah. reading it. The game is so good. <clears> and I think there's times where a couple of weeks ago Trent went off as a substitute. Who's right back? Jordan Henderson. Yeah, and like, yeah, yeah. He said he's just run round like it. A dickhead for you know eighty minutes. Yeah. Got played right back in one of the best, you know, hardest positions mm. on the field currently. But he got some run at you, and he's thinking, well, he just takes it in his stride. Of course. Yeah. I'm not taking it away from Manny, by the way. Yeah, of course. Right. Well, this thing everyone thought for the first four, four or five, six months, it was Manny because he was, he was, he was, he was our best player. But since, I mean, Jordan's always been fantastic. Got the, the run up to it, but when Fabinho got injured, and then like you said before, Hendel takes out the, the mantle of like that's going to be my role now. I've done it before, and then Fabinho's come back on the side, and then Hendo's going forward again. He's been the player that he is now, and but well, yeah. Hendo would have learned from that role. We would have yeah. learned from Fabinho, sorry mm-hmm. as well. Yeah, and we did, he got thrown into that role because there wasn't anybody else. Yeah. Fabinho yeah. comes in, who's a DM, or was one of the best in the world. So he's I'll cover it for me. He, he's not, mm. and then he's like, I'll boss that position. I boss the eight as well. That's why he's, he should be up there as well. Yeah, because of what he's done this season in, in different positions. Do you think there'll be more outrage of him being player of the year or when Henderson was on the cover of Fever? Which one will be pissed people off? More? Definitely this one. If he gets, <laughs> if he gets player of the year, fucking hell, they'll be up, bro. Do you think more virgins play Fever? <laughs> <laughs> True, yeah. like, yeah, there's a lot but of that's virgins. The thing is, like, you can look at that, that copy of Fever now, you can get for 20p in game, and it's like, yeah, that's a European Cup winner, Premier League winner, and player of the year. Messi. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then just finally now, there's the in the news this week a lot of the the uh, pundits are talking about Stop talking about Ross. Um we'll get you a better ball this time. Okay. Yeah, that, that, that was shit, wasn't it? <laughs> no, it wasn't, eh? Hey? I'm nipping out next door, guy. <laughs> um so yeah, all the talk this week about if Liverpool only win the Premier League, mm. we've underachieved. I really want to talk about this because I just think it's really bollocks. And that's it, that's the end of the podcast. Yeah, it, it is absolute bollocks. And I think I put that uh, tweet up today on the, the Copites Twitter and there's a load of responses like taking it completely out of context, thinking that Van Dyke's like saying, yeah, we're going to win the Premier League and that should be good enough. It's like he's not saying that, he's saying, have some perspective. Like if you l- took the season from the beginning and go, right, you're going to win the Premier League, you're getting knocked out all everything else, but you're going to win the Premier League, the fucking Holy Grail after 30 years. Would you take it? Ni- 95% resounding yes from the ho- every Liverpool fan. And the 5% aren't real support. Yeah, they're, well, all, okay. they're all cunts, so yeah. <laughs> it, it baffles me that everyone's, not all just Liverpool fans, but all the football fans in general, who just think they've got a right to win everything. Like, how, really many, how many times really have you said, are we, are we mentioned today, credit to Watford, credit to Chelsea, like, yeah, yeah. all the teams are good at football. Yeah, yeah absolutely. It, it happens yeah, yeah. the best league in the world. Yeah. Well, to some people, it's, some, it's, it's the worst one so far, isn't it? But, <laughs> yeah. but like, <laughs> uh, you know, the mix, right? It's like, you know, Premier League, yeah, sound, but like, you get to the fifth round of the FA Cup, what, what, in one of the last, what, 16 of, of the Champions League, we've only won the Super Cup, Club World Cup, or whatever else, and we're in the Premier League by, like, potentially breaking a records point. Yeah. Right, the, the start of the season, you go, yeah, because yeah. yeah, you're part of the ride, the, the crest of the wave and stuff. Okay, you're disappointed when you lose football games, it's fine to be disappointed when you lose games, it's fine, and you're disappointed when you don't perform well. But don't look at the whole team and go, this season's been shit. Yeah, exactly. Like, what's yeah. next then? Next season, we don't win the Premier League. And we're oh, even shit on. Yeah, mm. yeah. 
It's not it's like year. the treble or nothing now, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. We had such a phenomenal year last year, 97 points and winning the Champions League. If you'd have said to that to me at the beginning of the season, I'd have signed up for that. For that. You're going to lose the league by one point on the final day, but you're going to win the Champions League. Mm. Yeah, sign me up. I'm yeah. going to get it tattooed on me. Fine. Mm. Give it to <laughs> You know, I, like, yeah, exactly. I'll sign me up. I'll, I'll sign anything for a trophy these yeah. days. Not, not anything. <laughs> <laughs> but again, like, you know, the, the Carabao Cup stuff, like, we didn't have a choice but to play kids and that because... That was the succession of being successful. Yeah. Yeah. Stuff and it's like, well, we've got to play. Yeah. 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 And it's like, well, we'll give up. We want to win this trophy. Like Chelsea, before against Chelsea, the, the draws we've had in the FA Cup with, with Jurgen Klopp since he's come in mm. have been dead hard with the squad or whatever. This time we're just beaten by a better team. It yeah. happens. It, it, it does. We're not, you're not going to go through. It's like that little lad who, who wrote Klopp. Well, he's a prick, him, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> that fucking yeah. Irish yeah. Dara or whatever his fucking name is, the little twat. I hope he's not watching this. <laughs> so it's like, but you are. Had a good point in his reply though, didn't he? Saying, um, you know, it's my job to do that. We enjoy it, but we're not gonna win every single game, and that's what a lot of our, our sports need to realise is it isn't gonna happen. What we said before, we've lost a couple of games. Yeah, we might lose a couple more before the end of the season, but this season's still gonna finish on a high. We know that. Mm. But, but it's like the, the Arsenal. So sorry, Mick. Sorry. Like, Going, going invincible. Like, we've already broke the points record that they got. Yeah. <clears throat> I was like, and what's the object at the end? Okay, they get a goal, goal Premier League. We'll still go to the Premier League. Yeah. yeah I've seen loads of tweets about that as well. Yeah. Think, yeah. But I find it funny, like Arsenal, uh, there's their Twitter account on Arsenal fans coming out with things like, you've just been knocked out of the Europa League by the Arcots. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. Oh, by the way. Yeah, yeah. Really like, you know, don't, don't be throwing stones at us. Like, we're Absolutely. We're 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 just, yeah, 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 definitely. I mean, I mean, look at that invincible side. It was a great side, some great players. They drew 12 games. That always baffles me. Yeah. I always look at that D column and there's always a double yeah, yeah. digit in was, there. Was that the um, shitty season in the Premier League back then? As, oh. it, is, as it is now. Must, must exactly, yeah. Because if the champions yeah, were yeah. drawn to all the end, it must have been shit. Yeah. You know, like, but you don't, you compliment the team. Go, actually, well, the side that they had was phenomenal. The Centurions yeah. at City had, phenomenal. The treble winning of United, which was surpassed as well. Their points tally, phenomenal. Exactly. Yeah. That was a, a great side. And Monday Night Football did something good, didn't they? They compared them all as the greatest sides ever. Who came out on top of that? Oh, I think it was a team in red, definitely team in red, but I don't know which one it was. It'll come to me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, we this side is going to go down as one of the greatest Premier League champions ever. And it'll just be great to just go on next season and just see and see what happens, you know. Yeah. And at the end of the day, we might have to change that to a number seven. You never know, fingers crossed. Yeah. It's one of them, like, you know, current things aren't respected until years after. Right, that's, yeah, just, yeah. that's just, that's just, that's just the way, that's just the way it is. Yeah. yeah. Like it's thinking about like t- relating the, the, the this Liverpool team to other teams. It's like it's like Messi and Ronaldo now. It's like oh, who's better? Yeah. And there's constant debate and it's like f- just They're fucking football, yeah, yeah. Just yeah. just 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 just, just, just think well well. I've got to see these two players live in my lifetime. Just fucking enjoy it like and then it's it. like just constantly comparing and because of fucking the age of social media and all well, the, all this shite and, and just, just they weren't born when we won the Champions League. Uh, when Arsenal were in the invincible, and, you know, when we won it in 05. These kids as well, they don't know who Ronaldinho is, they don't know who Fat Ronaldo was, and they were just fantastic players. The Ronaldo, mm. that was disrespectful. Sorry. The, the Ronaldo. <laughs> the phenomenon. <laughs> but he was though, wasn't he? He was just an absolute genius on the yeah. ball. And again, that's, we could talk about that when we've got no tough stuff to talk about in the summer, we'll do a podcast on that one. But Do a podcast on Ronaldinho and his fake passports. Oh, oh so amazing. <laughs> Brilliant. It's so good <laughs> that, of all people. Why? I, I just don't know. <laughs> we'll find out, we'll let you know on the next episode. Yeah, what a guy. Oh, yeah. What a, what a player, though. What a player. Apart from the goal against England. Even though I don't give a fuck about England. I don't, I, don't, I wasn't. I was that, not. that broke my heart as a kid, that. Yeah, Absolutely right. killed me. Up now. Yeah, yeah. We've all loved it overseas. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <We've all overseen. laughs> Fucking hell. Fucking hell. Fucking hell. Didn't mention semen, like. Okay. Did you mouth us? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. What's going on here? What talking about? Oh, yeah. Will it be a failure? Fucking no, it won't, will it? No. It won't be. No. I'll be dead happy. I'll be on the fish with you boys. Yeah, but it's going to be three, four, five months of, you know, everyone's going to know being unbearable. What was that? I was soaking up. I feel like yeah. 89 was the last time we won. Like, I was born in 89. So yeah, same. Like, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Time, so. 30 years. Yeah. You know, what's in, you know what's interesting though? Like we've talked about Henderson getting injured and that. 
if it replaced Henderson with Salah, for example, mm. and we lost Salah in the Atletico first leg, yeah. these games that we've just been losing, we'd be like, oh yeah, but we didn't have Salah. It'd be fans would be more accepting of it because it's one of our big oh, yeah, players. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, because it's Henderson. That play FIFA. <laughs> yeah, but because he's like socially better and he's he's one of our star players, yeah, they'd be yeah, like, well, oh, but, but you know what yeah. I mean? But because we're missing our, we're missing our main man. People think of these porn out because he's not having the season that he did before. His game, he's had to adapt his game. And you see him, like, his, his hold up play now, I think, is superb. Like, oh, you, yeah. you watch him every time, like, he gets the ball, well, he's got his back to goal, he's got three people around him. Yeah. Well, I'll hold up the ball, his course, his course strength is, is phenomenal. And he's yeah. bringing other people into play because yeah. that's, that's what he's had to do. But he's he's shit because he's not banging in 30 goals a season. You can't do that. No, every, no. Every yeah. Well, I said, I think I said last week to you, Jay, uh, this season is our Mo Salah's debut season because it's such a freak season. Yeah, that's what you're saying. Yeah. You can't, it, it, it comes around every, once every 20 years if you're lucky, This mm-hmm. that type of season. There's, there's nothing you can do. Like, this team is phenomenal. So yeah, we just need to fucking... Cool. Yeah, and because of the teams that are in transition, Chelsea will get better, the United yeah, yeah. Say they'll get better, Spurs will the, the players stop going to the crowd and swatting people. Will <laughs> <laughs> they'll, they'll get better. Oh, yeah. It's a freak season in that sense as well, but you need to capitalise on it. Of course you That's what Liverpool have done. Everyone, everyone needs to raise their game to what Liverpool are doing now. Yeah. It was like a lesson <coughs> to do, wasn't it? Yeah. But it's because it's sort of yeah. just like that. Oh, what did you make of Cadder's uh, comment? I think it was last week. He said, uh, basically saying Liverpool needs to strike while uh, the iron's hot. Saying if we go out of certain competitions, mm. not a failure, so to speak, but it's a, it'll be a more of a disappointing season if we just win the Premier League. He was basically saying... I, 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 he's probably been told I, to say it. I, un- I understand what he means because this team's so good. We need to strike while I am yeah, I'm win winning, I winning, saying, winning yeah, more. Exactly I understand that, that point yeah. of view. But that comes back to what we've just been talking about. Like next season, our chance of getting a treble are significantly lower than what they were this season. Mm. We're in such a good position. Yeah, and everyone will strengthen. And, yeah, yeah. yeah, but exactly. if it's going to take a, a couple of summers for United to get better, it's oh, going to take a couple of summers for Chelsea. Take, yeah. A lot of City players are going to leave because of their age and all that sort of stuff in the next twelve months. So and the ban. And the ban, of course. Um, Until I get sorted. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I think Chelsea and Miles are the United though at the minute. Yeah. Oh yeah. Based on that performance, they, fucking hell. But what I'm saying is, Miles it's, it's going to take them another year or two to get to title challenging. Yeah. Then this is the time where we need to go right. Let's bang out number nineteen. Let's bang out number twenty. Let's bang out number twenty-one. Yeah. And maybe seven, eight, nine. That's the way I look at it, and I think that's maybe what Carrick is getting at. It's being strong in the in the transfer market as well for that reason. Definitely. Like they want to strengthen, but like who would you want to? Well, over the past four or five weeks, who do you want to play for in the Premier League? It's Liverpool. Who do you yeah. want to play for? Jurgen Klopp. Yeah. yeah. Who do you want to play with? Who do you want to play with Salomani for me now? Mm. Joe Benson. Yeah. Gives you it. Of course you do. Yeah. All right, well, that's been a good episode. I appreciate Ross. Oh, thanks for, Cheers for coming on, lad. Um, it was like it make it five times at some point. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, now I know where I'm going. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Again, we appreciate you for joining us as well. If you could uh, like, subscribe, and uh, put in the comments how much you enjoyed us today, and have a go at me for wearing my Neto shirt instead of my Dreams and Song shirt, that'd be great. There's <laughs> a slogan for Neto. I can't. Scandinavian for value. Oh, it was as well. <laughs> there you go. See? I was going to sing the Neto song then. N E T T O. Neto is the place to go. <laughs> we'll do our kits episode as well with this shirt, and I just love the shirt anyway. But again, uh, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, we'll see you soon. See you in a bit. <laughs>